The word cancer has actually been used for almost 2,000 years now. The biggest thing that's changed is the understanding that it's not one disease, but it's thousands of diseases. It's this understanding of the complexity of cancer that really changes how we think about treatment because now that we understand that the disease is so complex, we don't think of one cure for cancer, but rather thousands of different types of treatments that are all going to have to come together to be able to treat a patient. We need new tools to really understand what we're making uh, and, and that uh, science is happening as we speak. Really what's gonna change is that chemotherapy and radiation will still happen, but they won't be the first line anymore. Instead, it will be these new, more targeted therapies, and it will really change the way that people think about cancer and how to treat it. Going forward, uh, a big part of the solution is going to have to be figuring out how to develop and manufacture these new therapies that are going to be more personalized, doing that in a very cost-effective way. As cancer moves from a terminal disease into potentially a chronic disease, there'll be all sorts of shifts in how we have to change our thinking about it. So there'll be all sorts of challenges related to pa patient mental health, expenses, all these different things have both incredible promise, but also are challenges that we need to think about addressing. Cancer diagnosis, the big impact is just uh, the notion that life will never be the same after that diagnosis, uh, certainly for the individual, but also for the family. It's really a, a defining point in, in time for, for everybody involved. And it's really that link between not only the science, but bringing the human element in that I think makes this a different science conference and a different cancer conference than anything you've seen before.